السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ ہیلو اسٹوڈنٹس ویلکم ٹو ٹوڈیز میتھ سیشن لیٹ اس لرن اباؤٹ دا ڈفرنٹ فارمس آف نمبر ایون نمبر اوڈ نمبر پرائم نمبر اینڈ کمپوزائٹ نمبر اوکے لیٹ می ایکسپلین واٹ ایچ ون از اوکے فرسٹ ون ایون نمبر Take your notebook, write heading, even number. What is even number? Even number is a number that is exactly divisible by 2. For example, 2, 4, 6, 8 and 10, etc. Let us take number 14. 14 is even number? Yes, because 14 is exactly divisible by 2. How many twos there in the numbers 14? 7 times. 7 into 2 is 14. So, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, etc. These are all even numbers. All the numbers that have the digit 0, 2, 4, 6, 8 in the ones place. These numbers are even numbers. Okay. Next, odd number. Write down odd number. Odd number means a whole number that is not divisible by 2. A whole number that is not divisible by 2. For example, 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13, 15, 17, etc. Numbers with the digits 1, 3, 5, 7 or 9 in the ones place, that number we call odd numbers. Okay. 413, is it odd number or even number? Ones place is 3, so the number 413 is odd number. Okay, third one, prime number. Write down heading, prime number. Numbers has only two factors. That is, one and the number itself. These numbers are called prime number. Example of some prime numbers are 2, 3, 5, 7, 11. We know Factors of 6, 1, 2, 3, 6, there are 4 factors, some numbers have only 2 factors. This type of number we call prime number. For example, factor of 5, 5 has only 2 factors, 5 and 1, 7, 7 has 2 factors. 7 and 1. 13. 13 also 2 factors. 13 and 1. These numbers we call prime numbers. Now we discussed even number, odd number and prime number. Last one, composite number. Last one, composite number. Right next to heading, composite number. All numbers which are not prime called composite number. Composite numbers have more than two factors 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, 19 are prime numbers. The remaining numbers are composite number 4, 6, 8, 9, 12, 15, etc. Okay, come to the next topic prime factors. <coughs> Look the list factors of 3. 1 and 3. Factors of 4. 1, 2 and 4. Factors of 5. 1 and 5. Factors of 6. 1, 2, 3 and 6. Factors of 7. 1 and 7. Factors of 8. 1, 2, 4 and 8. Factors of 9. 1, 3 and 9. Factors of 10. 1, 2, 5 and 10. In this list, 
there are only two factors so in this list there are only two factors for 3 5 and 7 okay next prime factorization factorization means splitting a number into its factors for example 8 1 into 8 is equal to 8 2 into 4 is 8 so 1 2 4 and 8 are all factors of 8 but all are of the prime number no because 4 and 8 can be factorized further since 2 is a prime number we say that 2 is the prime factor of 8 one more example 12 1 into 12 is equal to 12 2 into 6 are 12 3 into 4 are 12 so 1 2 3 4 6 and 12 are all factors of 12 but all of them prime no because 4 6 and 12 can be factorized further since 2 and 3 are both prime numbers we say that 2 and 3 are the prime factors of 12 all of you got idea about prime factorization now coming to easiest method about finding prime factors of number that is division method let us use upside down division method and do the prime factorization so find the prime factorization of 54 using the prime factorization method let us use upside down division method and do the prime factorization for example find the prime factorization of 54 using prime factorization method so we have 54 how do we start we will find the smallest possible number which is exactly divides 54 without any reminder as we can see 54 is an even number so we can start the division by 2 which is the smallest even prime number that is 2 so we will do division by 2 through prime factorization division method start how many 2's in 5 2 into 2's are 4 so 2 times we write the quotient here on the downside ok reminder 1 so 14 how many 2's in 14? 7 times. Right? 7 here. Quotient is 27. 27 is an odd number. So, we cannot divide by 2. Which is the next smallest number? Let us try with 3. How many 3's in 27? 9 into 3 is 27. Quotient is 9. Again, the quotient is an odd number. So, we can do the division by 3. The smallest odd prime number. How many 3 is in 9? 3 times. Now, we got 3. Which is again a prime number. And so, we need to divide by itself. That is 3. How many 3's in 3? 1. Okay. So, what do we see here? Here, we see we got all the prime factors which are prime numbers. Prime factorization of 54 is equal to 2 into 3 into 3 into 3. Okay. Pause the video and write down the factorization division method.
one more example write down find the prime factorization of 40 how do we start we will find the smallest prime number which exactly divides 40 without any reminder okay as we can see 40 is an even number so we can start division by 2 how many 2's in 40 it is 20 20 is even number so we can do the division by 2 2 is the smallest prime number how many 2's in 20 10 times again 10 is even number so divide 2 how many 2's in 10 5 quotient is 5 this is an odd number so we cannot divide by 2 which is the smallest prime number 5 5 it is exactly divisible by 5 let us do the division by 5 how many 5's in 5 1 see we got all the prime factors of 40 which are prime numbers prime factorization of 40 is equal to 2 into 2 into 2 into 5 Okay, one more example from your textbook. Write down. Find the prime factorization of 36. We will find the smallest possible prime number which exactly divides 36 without any reminder. As we can see, 36 is an even number. So, we can start the division by 2. How many 2's in 36? How many 2's in 36? It is 18. Quotient is 18. How many 2's in 18? It is 9. Now this is an odd number. So we cannot divide by 2. Which is the next smallest prime number? Which is 3. How many 3's in 9? 3 times. 3 is prime number, it is exactly divisible by 3 only. How many 3's in 3? 1. Prime factorization of 36 is equal to 2 into 2 into 3 into 3. All of you clear the methods of prime factorization? Okay, now coming to the next heading. Prime factorization method of finding HCF. We already know the HCF and we have learned prime factorization now. Then we will learn how to find HCF by prime factorization method. For example, to understand easily, write down, find the HCF of 32 and 24. Find the HCF of 32 and 24. Find the prime factors of the given numbers by the repeated division method. First, find the prime factors of 32. Begin with the smallest prime number 2. Dividing 32 by 2, we get 16. Again, we get 8 then again divided by 2 we get 4 2 is a prime number we divide it by itself and get 1 as a quotient thus the prime factorization of 32 is 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2. Now find the prime factorization of 24. Dividing 24 by 2. We get 12. Then again 6. 3. 3 is a prime number. So 
we divide it by itself and get 1 as a quotient. Thus, the prime factorization of 24 is 2 into 2 into 2 into 3. Next step, circle the common prime factors of the given number. Here, the common factors are Here, the common factors are 2, 2, 2, 2 and 2, 2. Step 3. Find the product of the common prime factors of the numbers. HCF is 2 into 2 into 2 is equal to 8. So, HCF of 32 and 24 is equal to 8. HCF of 32 and 24 is equal to 8. Okay? Let us take another example. Find the HCF of 44, 77 and 110 using the prime factorization method. Write down the question. Find the HCF of 44, 77 and 110 using the prime factorization method. First, we find the prime factorization of all these numbers individually by repeated division method. We get the prime factorization of 44, 2 into 2 into 11, 77, 7 into 11, 110, 2 into 5 into 11. Next, circle the common prime factors of 44, 77 and 110. Here, the common factor is 11 only. Look here, look the list. Common factor is 11 only. Okay. 1, 2 and 3. There is only one common factor here. So, the HCF of 44, 77 and 110 is equal to 11. The HCF of 44, 77 and 110 is equal to 11. One more example from your textbook, page number 137. Write down the question. Find the HCF of 144 and 240. Find the HCF of 144 and 240 using prime factorization division method. First, find the prime factors of 144. Begin with the smallest prime number 2. 144 by 2. We get 72. Dividing 72 by 2, we get 36. Again, we divide 36 by 2. We get 18. Then again, we get 9. 9 is odd number. Can't divide exactly with 2. So, take next smallest prime number, which is 3. How many 3's in 9? Three times. Three is a prime number. We divide it by itself and get one as a quotient. Thus, the prime factorization of 144 is 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 3 into 3. Find the prime factors of 240. Begin with the smallest prime number 2 
240 by 2, we get 120. 120 dividing 120 by 2, we get 60. Then again divided by 2, we get 30. Now, quotient is 15. 15 is odd number. Can't divide exactly with 2. So, take next smallest prime number. It is 3. Five is a prime number, we divide by itself. Write down the division method. Thus, the prime factorization of 240 is equal to 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 3 into 5. Next, circle the common prime factors of 140 and 240 which are 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 3. HCF of 144 and 240 is equal to 48. Okay. Now we are going to discuss last topic of the chapter. Find LCM through prime factorization method. So let us discuss through one example. Write the heading. Prime factorization method of finding LCM. Then write the question. Find the LCM of 25, 15 and 30 using the prime factorization method. Find the prime factorization of the numbers by repeated division method. First, we find the prime factors of the number 25. Which is the smallest prime number to divide 25? We know that 25 is not divisible by 2 and 3. But it is divisible by 5. So we divide 25 by 5. We get 5 as a quotient. 5 is a prime number which is divides itself. So 5 divided by 5 quotient is 1. Thus the prime factorization of 25 is equal to 5 into 5. Now, we find the prime factors for next number 15. We know 15 is not divisible by 2. So, we take the next prime number that is 3. Dividing 15 by 3, we get quotient 5. 5 is a prime number. So, the next smallest prime number which can divide itself. Therefore, 5 divided by 5, we get 1. Prime factors of 15, 3 into 5. Similarly, we find Similarly, we find the prime factorization of the last number 30. Next step, write down all the prime numbers which are used to divide at the given numbers. 25, 5 into 5, 15, 3 into 5, 30, 2 into 3 into 5. What numbers are written here? 5, 3 and 2. Isn't it? How many times 5 in 25? 2 times. How many times 5 in 15? 1 time. How many times 5 in 30? 1 time. So, Consider and write down the largest number of times, which is 2 times in 25. So, I write 5 into 5, 2 times. Which is the next number? 3. How many times 3 in 25? 0. How many times 3 in 15? 1 time. How many times 
3 in 30 one time. So, we consider 3 into 1. Next number 2. How many times 2 in 25? 0. How many times 2 in 15? 0. How many times 2 in 30? 1 time. So, I write 1 into 2. Then, multiply 5 into 5, 25 into 3 into 1, 3, 1 into 2, 2, 25 into 3, 75, 75 into 2, 150. So, LCM of 25, 15 and 30 is equal to 150. One more example from your textbook. Write down. Find the LCM of 15, 18 and 20. Find the LCM of 15, 18 and 20 using the prime factorization method. First, Factorize 15, 18, 20 with smallest prime numbers. First factorizing 15, 18, 20 with smallest prime numbers. Prime factorization of 15 is equal to 3 into 5. 18 is equal to 2 into 3 into 3. 20 is equal to 2 into 2 into 5. Next. Find the largest number of times each prime number in the given list. Prime factors are 3, 5 and 2. Okay. How many times 3 in 15? One time. How many times 3 in 18? Two time. How many times 3 in 20? Zero. So, consider two times. Next number 5. How many times 5 in 15? 1. How many times 5 in 18? 0. How many times 5 in 20? 1 time. So, 1 into 5. Next number 2. How many times 2 in 15? 0. 18, 1 time. 20, 2 times. So, consider largest number of time. 2 times. Then multiply 3 into 3 is equal to 9. 1 into 5, 5. 2 into 2, 4. Is equal to 9 into 5 are 45. 45 into 4, 180. LCM of 15, 18 and 20 is equal to 180. Okay. This is all for today. Your homework exercise 7.3 page number 137. Question number 1, 2, 3. And exercise 7.4 page number 138. Question number 1 and 2. Complete your homework as part of the max revision for your semester examination. Today's class ends here. Thank you.